So, I was blocked by BJJ's way. And I don't really care, because obviously it's his channel, and he can do whatever he would like to with it. But I am upset that he blatantly lied about why he blocked me in his video entitled Censorship. I'm sure that anyone who cares enough to go back and look at my comments will know that he's lying. But I, I want to defend myself, I guess. Um, first of all, I never presented him with any questions on his channel. I wasn't debating him on Christianity or atheism or anything like that. I made an offhand comment about his use of LUV in place of love, and when he responded to this by posting LUV on my channel, I pointed out that by doing such, he was behaving obnoxiously and immaturely. Never once did I ask him a question, unless you count a rhetorical question. Now, in his video, BJJ says that he told me that I could message him with questions and disputes, then goes on to say that I didn't want to do this, and so he warned me that I could not comment on his channel, or he would censor me. He's lying. Uh, he threatened me with censorship even before telling me that I could private message him if I would like, because he didn't tell me I could message him until I had already done so. After I sent him this message, he said, You can PM me as you wish, but please don't make yourself the first person I ever censor. And I did. Uh, private message him, I mean. I presented him with one of the questions I had has asked previously and he had ignored, and he gave me the standard cop-out answer. The Bible says so. Eventually, when I continued to press him to really think about it, to examine the issue logically, he told me, and I quote, I still love you, but please do not write to me anymore. I told him what I thought of that, and then I stopped. We had no contact for a little while, and then he decided to leave a comment on my channel, where he asserted that I'd subscribed to someone simply because this person had made a video mocking BJJ. I commented back, explaining that no, I'd subscribed because he has various other videos as well, and this is when Dear BJJ blocked me. Now, if you check my channel, my last comment should still be up there, so I'm not, you know, just making this up. Unlike BJJ, I try to be as honest as possible. Anyway, I plan on continuing to make videos debunking some of the things that BJJ has said, not because I have a personal vendetta against him, but because he's a pretty good example of your typical fundamentalist Christian, and he has a lot of videos, which is convenient and pretty fun.